The EFF in the Western Cape says it's ready uh, to tackle this year's general elections. Of course, in a short while, EFF leader Julius Malema is set uh, to launch the provincial uh, manifesto here at Guguletu Sports Stadium. Uh, joining me now is the EFF chairperson in the Western Cape, Unati Tami. Uh, Unati, very warm good afternoon to you. Um, we were expecting the president uh, of the EFF, Julius Malema, in a short while, but you were saying that specific to the Western Cape, there are quite a number of issues that will be highlighted with this manife uh, manifesto launch. Um, in the Western Cape context, what are you as the EFF saying today? Uh, greetings to you and your viewers. Uh, thank you for uh, coming to our gathering. We're expecting our president to touch on the issue of racism that is happening in the Western Cape. We're expecting him to touch on the issues of high crime rate that is here and also the discrimination and the lack of service delivery to the, most of the black uh, areas and colored constituencies that are not getting any services from the DA. So that is what the president will be talking about. And obviously we'll also be delivering the EFF manifesto, particularly what the EFF will be doing for the constituencies of the Western Cape. So you're talking about what the EFF is doing or will be doing for the Western Cape's constituents. Uh, we do know that the EFF is the third biggest party here. Um, you know, you have seen some growth in the, in the previous election. What are you looking at in terms of the inroads you're hoping to make um, in traditional strongholds of the major other parties uh, in this province come the 29th of May? It's unavoidable that the EFF it's either is taking over or the EFF will ensure that the DA is performing below 40%. We have seen that the EFF has won even a word in Saldana, defeating the ANC. So the ANC is projected to be around 88% only and the EFF is going close to 20% to 20 and upwards. So that's what is going to happen. ANC has collapsed in the Western Cape and the DA has mismanaged the issue of Palestine-Israel uh, conflict that is happening by taking the side of the Israel, which is killing and butchering the people of Palestine. So the DA has collapsed, the ANC has collapsed. It's only the EFF that is growing in the Western Cape. And you can see today it's packed. That's why people are in love with the EFF and we're expecting the EFF to do so well in the Western Cape. Last question, Guguletu, where we are right now, is also an area which has seen quite a number of, um, of, of mass shootings and, and crime um, in, in the Western Cape itself. When it comes to crime, what is the EFF saying? Uh, what do you expect uh, Mr. Malema to talk about when he speaks about crime specific to the Western Cape? He need to touch on how brutal the criminals must be dealt with. The, we can, the state cannot massage the criminals. You have seen that the DA is not servicing uh, black constituencies because they are saying that they are scared of the protect, protection fee that is happening here. How can a DA state be scared of criminals? Because the DA is supposed to be decisive with the criminals. So that's what the EFF is going to do. The EFF is going to deal decisively with all criminals and will make sure that there is no criminals that, is, that are taking uh, women for granted, that are uh, ensuring that women in the Western Cape and children are not comfortable to walk in the streets of the Western Cape. So we're going to make sure that we are very brutal to criminals and we're going to make sure that we reduce uh, all the crime that is happening in the Western Cape, particularly the gangsterism that is happening in the colored constituencies in uh, Hanover Park, in Manenberg, in Scottsdale, in Milchers Plain. We're going to make sure that we bury the mass shootings that are happening in Kailicha, we bury the mass shootings that are happening in Kukuletu, Philippi, Delft, and Kaifondale. We're going to make sure that we sort out all the issues here and we're going to prioritize the issue of employment of the people of the Western Cape because currently the DA is only prioritizing white people and also on the service delivery. The DA is making sure that it only prioritizes the established areas of the Western Cape. So we're going to make sure that our people are prioritized as well. We're going to make sure that we clean the streets of the pro poor uh, constituencies of the Western Cape. The drainage system that has collapsed the Western Cape, the EFF is going to address all those issues. Thank you. Thank you so much for speaking to me. Of course, the, uh, the provincial chairperson of the EFF here in the Western Cape, Unai Tintame, uh, speaking ahead of the address by Julius Malema, the EFF president here at uh, the Guguletu Sports uh, Stadium, talking about uh, their plans for the Western Cape um, ahead of this coming election and also saying uh, that service delivery as well as uh, dealing with crime will be among some of the top priorities and also ensuring uh, that uh, a, a calm is brought to areas such as Guguletu to and across the Cape Flats. Of course, this is the provincial uh, manifesto of the EFF uh, due to take place in a short while.